All right, so someone on the right are gonna be upset with me about that. I think someone on the left may be upset with me about what I'm about to say. For weeks now, we have been asking, where are the women's groups condemning the sexual abuse and violence committed against Israeli women by Hamas terrorists on October 7th? Rape, gang rape, while they're raped, apparently cutting off their breasts, women and girls raped in front of their parents or grandparents, witnesses saying the terrorists were laughing while they did this. The horror so extensive and barbaric. But there is overwhelming documentation, eyewitness accounts, autopsies, video evidence from GoPro cameras worn by the attackers themselves as they proudly committed these violent acts against women. It's the kind of evidence women's rights groups have so often said has been ignored time and again, and yet, ironically, those same groups have failed to acknowledge what happened in Israel. Today, we learned some of the gruesome details related, it was related to United Nations session. We have to warn you, it is horrible. Women's bodies found with nails in their sexual organs. Teenagers, 13 and 14 years old, found raped and shot in the head, and there's even more detail. Yet on Saturday, nearly two months after the attack, the UN Women's Group finally put out a statement about it. And the first line isn't a condemnation of the horrors that were committed against women. It starts with, we deeply regret that military operations have resumed in Gaza. And we reiterate that all women, Israeli women, Palestinian women, as all others, are entitled to a life lived in safety and free from violence. So the group UN Women finally speaks out about the abuse of women in Israel, and they couch it with an initial attack on Israel, and then a mealy-mouthed all women as if more than one party in the conflict is doing it. They then say, quote, we unequivocally condemn the brutal attacks by Hamas on Israel on 7 October. We're alarmed by the numerous accounts of gender-based atrocities and sexual violence during those attacks. This is why we've called for all accounts of gender-based violence to be duly investigated and prosecuted with the rights of the victim at the core. Again, that implies that Israel is doing the same thing that Hamas did. Talking about after October 7th, somehow lumping the targeting of women by Hamas with Israel's response. But here's a sort of kernel of good news. It does seem that pressure, even in the past week, has finally led many women's groups and the UN to pay attention. There was this special UN session about the topic this morning. It included like women, including New York, Senator Kirsten Gillibrand. While the atrocities committed on October 7th and the international community's reluctance, even refusal to condemn or even acknowledge them, doesn't just strike fear in the hearts of Israeli women, it strikes fear in the hearts of every woman and girl around the globe. Their bodies are not worth defending. Their humanity is not worth protecting. The United Nations must denounce Hamas as a terrorist organization that uses rape as a weapon of war. Keep in mind, the UN Women's Executive Director, Director issued a statement three days after Russia invaded Ukraine, before they knew much about what was happening. And then a month and a half later, when it became clear Russian soldiers were raping Ukrainian women and acts of war crimes to UN women were unambiguous in their condemnation. Quote, end sexual violence in Ukraine now. We condemn the rapes and sexual violence in Ukraine. They must be urgently investigated. The perpetrators must be held accountable. Where was that condemnation, that clear-cut outrage, even last week? Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.